pretty doggone close. All right, let's get this, <coughs> excuse me, put back together and we'll just run the rest of this dirt through and we will be finished running dirt at old Arnold finally. Man, it seems like we've been here forever. Um, I know this is only episode 30, 31, something like that. But I've been actually running the search for a very long time. It's just, you know, towards, for, for the last couple months or so, well, a couple of things have happened. Um, I started playing Farming Simulator and absolutely fell in love with the game. So I've spent, you know, spent a lot of time on that. Um, but also, you know, there was just a whole mess of nothing but dig and wash and dig and wash and dig and wash. And so it, get, <clears throat> it gets a little bit challenging uh you know to to continue to make youtube videos when you're doing the same thing over and over again and you know and make them interesting so there was just a lot of off camera time and and that's why it, it, things kind of slowed down but we are still going and, and they should pick up because you know we're gonna have a lot uh, I, I imagine it's gonna take us a few episodes before we're fully up and running on nighthawk just to just to get set up out there yeah so um yeah Looking forward to it, though. It's going to be cool. All right, so I think we have everything hooked up back down here. we got all the grates in place, all the mats in place. Let's get back up this way. And hook up the water. Okay, so we have 60% and 55% in there. Okay, so let's just see how much. Another stupid button broke. Um, let's just see how much that. Is this button broken? No, it's probably not in very good shape, but it's not broken. Uh, we'll get out of this. We have to wait and see what the percentage is in the in the actual plant. And then I'll I'll make a a guesstimate on how much we'll get from that. I guess while we're waiting, we can bring the excavator back up here. No reason keeping it back here any longer. And uh, we also have to come down here and get our light too, but we'll need to pick up for that. So I don't know if the dirt, you know, when the snow falls like this or accumulates, if the dirt is now considered frozen, because what you have to do if you mine in the winter time is you have to get the bulldozer and the ripper to loosen the dirt up before you can dig in it. So it'd be interesting to know if it's actually frozen now. I guess we could, well, no, because that's all bedrock dirt there. Yeah, I don't know. Not sure. Anyway, let's get this up to the plant, and then we'll see what we got. Close the windows, man. It's cold. You know, actually, I think I'm going to leave this down here because we're going to need it to pick up the planters and probably the trommel on this end. So yeah, let's just park this right here for now. Get turn this on and these three. Okay, so we have 25% in the plant. We got 66 ounces with a full plant out of the more or less the same dirt. So now we have a quarter of that. So f that would be what, 5, 16, 17 ounces-ish? So I'm going to guess between 15 and, and whoops, no, we need that, uh, 15 and 17 ounces. No, we don't need that. Take that off. Yeah. 
That's my guess. Fifteen between fifteen and seventeen ounces. It does kind of break things up a little bit with the snow, doesn't it? That's uh, true to life. Yeah, fifteen to seventeen. And if the price is still uh, eleven twenty-five ish or so. Uh, and we get 15 ounces. It's gonna, that's gonna give us probably about seventeen thousand dollars or more, which is definitely worth it. Absolutely worth it. Wait, what am I doing? I'm trying to do math, and it's completely throwing me off from everything else. That disconnected. I don't. I didn't. Did I grab the bucket? I don't think I grabbed the bucket. <laughs> I didn't. Look at me and my bad self. Okay. We don't even need to take the bucket back up there. Um, actually, wait, you know what? Let's, well, okay, I guess it's done. I was going to say, we could probably put all of these just in one bucket. We'll put it all in the wave table in one shot, so I won't process the wave table until we get everything else. Because these are just, again, partial buckets here. Twelve percent. Seven days to permafrost. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Well, that's interesting. I thought we only had like three days when winter set in before things got really bad. But we actually have seven days. How about that? That is very interesting to know. So you could tip you could actually mine for another seven days before you had to worry about you know, the ground freezing up and stuff. If if that's what that means, I'm assuming that's what that means. How interesting. Okay. Um, let's just do all of these mats, regardless of how full they are, because they're done. Anyway. Okay. And likewise, same thing over here. So you get seven days after winter starts. Huh. I don't know. I don't know why I thought it was three. But obviously I was incorrect about that. That's pretty generous. Doesn't matter though, we're still gonna stick to our plan here. I'm actually putting these back in because I know you can transport the hog pans with the mats in them. I don't know about those sluices, though, if it'll let you transport with those in. I guess we could try and lift it up and see what it does. Okay, so that takes care of the hog pans. Uh, you know what else, uh, else I'm going to do is let's grab... Uh, are you guys big? You're a medium. Oh, you're both mediums. You come up here. I'm just gonna put the grates in the in the crates. There's no point in putting them back on because we're done. But this is a large crate, so I want the large crate for that. Okay. Looks like I still have a button in there. You fit in there? Yep, you sure do. I figured it wasn't going to fit in the medium crate. Just have to get it in the right position. There we go. All right, let's run these mats through the Nuggetator. The Nugginator. Nuggetator, Nugginator. Okay.
Okay, so while that's happening, we'll go take the grates from this side, put them in here. It's done already. Stick that in there. And this bucket can just go over here. Did that? Oh, that one didn't. I put it in from the wrong side. That's what the problem is. Right there, maybe? Nope, a little further this way. Come on, man. Okay, I guess it's in there. There we go. And the final grill. And that gets these packed up. Come on, man. Get in there. Don't be such a pain in the butt. Uh, how do we rotate? We can tip, but I can't. I don't remember. Well, okay. Oh, there it goes. Okay. I wonder if we can also put the mats in there with the grates without it getting glitchy. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. I notice if you try and put too much stuff in these crates, things can get glitchy and and or when you lift it up, the overload stuff just falls through. It doesn't actually pick it up. I'm not sure what determines when you've gone over the capacity. Okay, can we still lift this? Yeah, okay. Let's see if we can get the other ones in there. We'll put the hog pan mats in one of the smaller uh, cases. We still have to wash these too. Okay, let's run that. Uh-oh. Yeah, we lost a grate. Yeah, that's what happens is stuff falls through. Okay. Then let's put... We can put these in a medium. I want the grates to go in here. Oh, wow, not even, that one's not even fitting. Whoops. Well, <laughs> I tossed it a little too hard there. Hey, okay, how about now? Did we get them all? Yeah, we got them all. Okay. I just have to make sure I pick up the crate and not the grate or grill. Okay, we'll just set these up here. These will have to be transported in, in our pickup or in the trailer. So uh, I guess we'll just set them right there for now. And then we can put mats in here. But let's stop you and get the gold done first. I don't know if we'll be able to put all 12 of the large mats in here or not. You'd, you'd think it'd be able to handle it, right? Come on. Turn you off. Okay, let's see what we get.
11 ounces. Didn't I say 10 to 15? So I was still in range. <laughs> okay, so it looks like we got all the big mats in here. The question now is, though, uh, can we pick it up? Come on. Without losing any. Yep, looks like we can. All right, let's run this up here. And we'll just set it right next to the to the grills. Oh, no, no, don't don't tip them over. Okay. All right, guys. Um, let's run into town and sell our gold and our magnetite, and then we'll wrap up the episode. and And then in the next episode, we are going to. So we got sixty eight percent magnetite. We're gonna get started uh, breaking this place down. But let's uh. Let's see how much we ultimately made. First, fire let you go. We're sitting at fifty four hundred and change on the magnetite because uh, I did empty one full bucket into the plant off camera and then we have this extra bucket here too This is the magnetite bucket, right? Yep. Yeah, that gives us 9,164. So I think that's going to give us maybe around 70 grand, something like that. Nice little extra bonus money for sure. Okay, I'll see you guys at Blacksmith. No, dang it, we got the lag bug again. So irritating. Okay, let's do our little cheesy time adjustment. So we don't have to wait a bazillion years. Fly back. Okay, sell magnetite first. 69,374. I said around 70, that's pretty close. All right, nice extra money, man. Absolutely nice extra money. Okay, now we want to smelt. And we'll get a full gold bar, and then we'll also get another 170-ounce bar. Shouldn't take too long to pop out since we increased the time and we have the all the bonuses. Should be coming out right about now. Now. Okay. I was right the second time. <laughs> and then we'll smelt the rest of our gold. Look at that big, juicy 312-ounce bar of gold. Very nice. Come on, lag. Go away. 
The only way to get rid of it is just to restart the game, but I don't want to. I don't want to log out right now. Okay, that is it. This is a 166 and a half ounce bar. I've been told that you don't actually have to put the gold bars in the pickup and take them to the bank because the game already knows you have them, but it seems realistic to me. So we'll just do it anyway. Are these roads slippery? A little bit. Okay, let's make some money. Uh, what is the price? Ah, it's starting to go back up a little bit, so twelve twenty-eight, not too bad. Sell gold bars. Fantastic, and that puts us, ladies and gentlemen, a hundred and third. No, one million three hundred sixty-one thousand and thirty-seven. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that is enough for us to buy two gravel pumps and still have enough money to do our move. And again, I want to do that now because this is the best time to buy something like that. The prices are cheapest in the winter. If we wait till spring, then they're going to be more expensive. And for such a high ticket item, it makes sense that we do that now. So let's hop out of the pickup truck. Um, I'm going to actually do a full save here. So episode 30 E, I got to, I got to clean up, uh, some of these older saves in case I really screw something up here. Okay. So we've already purchased the tier five trommel, but I just, I, I just decided this one here, I decided to keep it in storage until we move um because there, there we just didn't have enough time left on old arnold to go to the hassle of moving that out there and so now what we're going to do is we're going to purchase two of these and oh yeah that's that actually is a really good price oh my goodness that's guys the last time i looked at this it was like twenty thousand dollars more than it is now so yeah, buying something like this in the winter, definitely the way to go. How much, just out of curiosity, how much is the Glacier Creek? Uh, what happened? Oh, I got something out. Nine, it's under a million. I think this thing is normally a little over a mil. Hmm. I mean, I, I would buy this first, except for I... I was told, well, I wasn't told directly, but I've heard from an experienced player that it's better to upgrade the trommel and the gravel pump first and then do this last. So I'm going to go go off of that advice, and we are going to purchase two gravel pumps. Add, okay. And then let's lag ourselves over to the checkout. Oh, we just got a, a loading screen right there, really? That's kind of a weird place for a loading screen. Uh, let's go to the checkout, and let's buy our two gravel pumps. Man, we saved $40,000, you guys, by buying this in the those in the winter. Seriously, the last time I checked them, they were like like twenty grand higher than that. So that's a huge savings. Okay, so that leaves us with $351,237, which should be plenty of money to do everything that we need to do. However, we're going to leave this stuff in storage now because it's winter time. So there's no point in pulling them out because we're going to have to just put them right back in storage. What we are going to need to do, however, is we're going to need to go to Nighthawk and we're going to need to upgrade it so we can put multiple machines on the property. And um, that is probably the most important thing that we need to do right now. If I were to transfer that, no, I don't want to do that. No, no. Okay. So let's go ahead and upgrade this. So that's 20,000. I think the next one's going to be 30,000. And then the next one's going to be 40,000. And then 50,000. How many of these can you do? We had three on old Arnold. Yeah, let's just keep this at five. We can, we can keep upgrading later if we need to, but... I probably didn't even even need to do that much, but that should hold us in good stead for a while. 
Uh, and then the really the only other costs I think that we're going to have now is just the transportation costs, but they're going to be fairly significant. The other thing we can do too um, is we don't need the small excavator. We could sell that and recoup a little bit of money. Yeah, I don't. I can't think of any reason why we would want to keep this. So you know what we're going to do? Can I transport this stuff? Or do I have to take it down first? I probably have to take it down first, is my guess. The light system trailer. Can we transport that? That's going to cost 1500 bucks. Is it actually going to let us do that? Here, let's just try and see what happens. Move your machines. It looks like it did. I didn't even have to break it down or anything. So does that mean I could transport the stuff that's actually connected to the wash plant? Uh, let's try. This is the Trommel Duplex Jig Sluice Box. So these are the sluice boxes that are above. Let's just see if it lets us do it. Oh, that's only 188. Well, shoot, man. If it's going to let us do this, this is going to be a much easier job than I thought it was going to be. Uh, we're going to sell the mobile wash plant. We don't need that anymore. Okay. Conveyor hopper. Conveyor belt. Watch me get this all queued up and then try and transfer, and it's going to say, no, you got to disconnect it all first. Uh, D rocker. What else? What else do we need? Old Arnold's truck. Well, no, that we want to keep out there because we're going to sell it. And we need to sell it on the little cell plot that's out there. So this we do have to take apart and drive up to the cell spot. The planners. No, no, we want to sell those too because we have two gravel pumps. So those will stay out there as well. Uh, I think we want to keep everything else except for the wash plant. The old Arnold Trommel and the two planters. All right. That's only 10,000 bucks. That's not that big of a deal at all. Let's move them. Oh my goodness, it let us do it. <laughs> I didn't think it would let us do that. I figured it was going to make us take it all apart first. Wow. Okay, that saves a huge amount of work, you guys. Let's let's just drive back out to Old Arnold to make sure they they're gone. I mean, they should be. <laughs> Holy cow. All right. Ah. Oh. I didn't know I could drive through there. <laughs> Wow. Okay. So our maybe our move out tonight, Hawk, is not going to be... Well, I mean, we're still going to have to transport everything out there and set it up out there, but at least we didn't have to disassemble it off of Old Arnold, which is great. Except for, again, like I said, the, the items that we want to sell. Oh, for Pete's sake. Come on, man. You act like there's snow and ice on the road or something. No. <laughs> this pickup's always been... Super janky to control whether there's snow in the ice or road or not. By the way, I may have told you guys this. I don't know. I'm old, so I forget if I... T so I might repeat myself sometimes on things, but... I do have a wheel. Uh, in fact, I have a wheel and a, a side panel that I use on Farming Simulator. I tried those out here on Gold Rush, and they didn't... They worked, but they didn't work really good. And so I'm just back to using mouse and keyboard. And I, you know, I, I've i trained myself to use the mouse and keyboard, and I've gotten, I think, anyways, you know, pretty good at it. So, yeah, it is what it is, eh? Um, let's just sell this now. If, well, if I can... How did that even get turned around, man? I must have bumped into it at some one point. It is hard, though, to make... Ugh, almost had it. 
there we go, uh, to make fine-tuned movements because, you know, digital controls and stuff, but I don't really have any trouble with, are you connected or not? You know, with, like, the excavator and stuff like that, um, using the mouse and keyboard. But driving this pickup is still kind of a pain in the butt. All right, anyway. Yeah, we're going to sell this. There's no reason at all for us to keep this. money are we going to get for this? Twenty-seven fifty. That's it? How much did we pay for this doggone thing? Probably a heck of a lot more than twenty-seven fifty. <laughs> okay, well. I guess that's the way it works, eh? All right, you guys. Well, I've, I've gone a little too long, but I'm just kind of like totally excited, you know, to do this. And Yep, it sure took all that big equipment. I'm, I'm really happy that I don't have to, you know, tear all that stuff down and transport it back over there to return it. Um, so, here's the plan. We're going to climb back in our pickup truck and turn our lights off so we don't drain our battery. That's the plan. That's the first part of the plan. Oh, and this is awesome. Okay, so it did take everything. So, the delivery service that we paid all that money to, they came out here... And they grabbed all this stuff. So we're going to lift up in the next episode, we're going to lift up the, the trommel and the two planters and take those over to the cell area where we just sold the mobile wash plant. We're going to sell those. We'll get a little money back from them. I'm not expecting a lot, but we'll get some money back from those. And then it's really just going to be all the little stuff that we're going to have to load up in the trailer in the back of the pickup truck. I thought about trying to get stuff in the dump truck, but I don't know. It's really high up. Can we... Can we get up on the wheel so we can throw stuff in the back? No, nah, see, it's I don't know, that's probably going to be more hassle than it's worth. Um, can I jump up here? See, I can't even really get up here. Well, I kind of did a little bit. <gasps> oh, we gl <laughs> we glitched in it. See, I'm not worried about taking stuff out of it because when we get to our new location we just dump it but you know what though something else that just occurred to me we might have we, we have to probably put this in storage and i don't know if it'll let us do that with stuff inside of it so yeah we better not mess with that because i don't want to risk losing stuff okay fantastic so we have uh two hundred and one thousand dollars still we've already um purchased the upgrades on nighthawk which is probably going to be the most expensive thing oh no you know what else we're going to need to do uh, we're going to need to restore the water tower on Nighthawk, which is going to cost us a hundred grand. But we should be able to do that because I, I seriously doubt we're going to spend another hundred grand with this move. Plus, again, we're going to recoup some money with from these machines. But anyways, I got to go. <laughs> I gotta, we got to end this episode because it's gone way too long. But I'm just having fun, and this is really cool, you know, that this is all going to happen. So, yeah, guys, next episode is the move. Well... No, the next episode is the cleanup of Old Arnold and the storing of all of our stuff. We might go out to Nighthawk and take all the stuff out there and store it out there so that way it's there. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. I mean, we have seven days till permafrost anyways. And then we're going to wrap things up for the winter and then we'll start season two. Uh, and that's when we'll set things up at Nighthawk. I don't know how many episodes that's going to be. It could We could do it in two episodes. It might take three or four. I don't know. We'll just have to see how things go but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment share the video and we'll catch you in the next episode bye bye